Hello, welcome folks to another modern stream. Today we're going to be playing a deck that has been seeing a very significant uptick lately, uh, championed mostly by players like uh, Canister, and that is uh, Four Color Elementals. I tried this deck a couple of weeks ago, maybe two or three weeks, and I was very, very impressed by it. Uh, we, You can check out the VODs, and we played some very, very interesting matches, and the deck uh, impressed. The deck truly, truly impressed. Uh, it's had something very, very powerful going on, mostly because of the power of the elemental incarnations. Now, of course, the elemental incarnations have a downside, right? Which is the fact that it, they are a 2 for one and then you have to sacrifice your card. Um, but uh, this deck has two different ways of offsetting that, that downside. One of them is by using Ephemerate to blink the elemental incarnation so you get the trigger even one more time, uh, while at the same time uh, keeping uh, your creature for future value or just for attacking and blocking for that matter. And the other way is Recent Reef. So what Recent Reef does is, whenever these elemental incarnations come into play, you draw a card, meaning that you're offsetting the downside of this being a two for one, and now you're just turning your Furies, your Solitude, and your Endurance, and I guess your Subtlety in the in the cyborg, though this card sucks. Um, but you're, ter you're turning your, your elemental incarnations into just uh, more or less card parity instead of card disadvantage. So, um, Recent Reef is kind of the engine that ties this entire deck together, and it is a very, very powerful engine at that for sure. Um, what this version of the deck does, uh, very different from what I uh, what I played in the past, the versions of the deck that I played in the past were playing Voice of Resurgence and the Unsettled Mariner. Um, this innovation, I think it was by Canister, uh, what this list is doing is it's playing some actual interaction in the form of Prismatic Ending and Lightning Bolt, and it's playing Planeswalkers like Renan Six and Teferi, I don't, I don't need to explain how good uh, these cards are, like both of these cards are just absolutely insane. And it also has Utopia Sprawl uh, as a way to ramp. Uh, of course, your key turn is turn number three. That's kind of where your curve starts. So uh, having a way to um, speed up that turn three by a turn is obviously a very, very big deal. So um, we're going to see how this works out. Like the Utopia Sprawls are kind of like, if you look at the mana, there's a bunch of non-forests that like we have, you know. Um, first of all, we have fetches like Carried Mesa. So we're going to be... Found, we're going to find ourselves in situations where uh, we're going to have to um, to, to put Utopia Sprawl in one of our dual lands, which is not great because of cards such as Blood Moon or even uh, Field of Ruin and whatnot. Um, but it also has like, you know, Mountain, Plains, Rogue in Triumph, Sacred Foundry, Steam Vents, all of these cards cannot hold the Utopia Sprawl particularly well. So... Um, Definitely interesting seeing how that works out. Uh, the the mana base is is definitely tricky. I just copied and pasted this mana base from like a from a four zero uh, from a prelim, um, so I didn't really put too much thought into it. But um, I would not be surprised if this like this mana base needs a little bit more work um, if if you want to go the Utopia Pro route. Uh, but yeah, the, the the amount of requirements in the deck obviously are pretty steep, you know, with Omnath, double white, uh, you know, like white, blue, double red, like obviously your your mana is stretched in very, very many different directions. Uh, the sideboard has uh, extra endurances, the full playset, full four copies, um, fourth copy of the fairy, subtlety that of course you can tutor for with Flame King and Harbinger, so it's a lot better than that. Yo, Spike with a massive raid. Thank you so much for, for that, man. We're just getting started over here. Um, Foundation Breaker, we can also tutor for with Flame King Harbinger. Force uh, as a way to beat Hammer and um, amulet, all that good stuff. Explosives against Hammer and to get rid of Saga tokens, etc. Chalice of the Void against the Cascade decks. Uh, we're going to be running this through a couple of leaks, so hopefully you're gonna we're going to get to see the deck in action. Should be fun. And if you're enjoying the content, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button, and I will see you for round number one. All right, let's do this thing. Um, I have to assume this hand is busted, right? Yeah, hand is obviously busted. Let's keep it. That's the engine. Like, what else could we want? Modern healthy? Yeah, I think modern's pretty good right now. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this. You need to stop innovating so fast. I'm trying to build the lands list, but you keep changing the cards. I'm sorry, Grape Jelly. I'm sorry.
I bought a mold to five too. DRC. Uh, actually, I can't. I can't cycle this because I'm gonna need the blue mana to cast this thing. I guess there's even an argument for just. Nah, no, 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 no. I guess if they play a monkey, I'm gonna kill it, but. Oh, this is just prowess? Well, that's great. Yeah. Being the lightning bolt. I'm just gonna chill here. Sure, like, this is gonna attack me for like one or, t or three. It's kind of whatever. You see the same cup, same coffee cup, yeah. Have this one for a while. Is it maybe Phoenix? Sure. Kind of doesn't matter. Like this card is just, it's pretty pretty solid. Serum Visions. <gasps> Pog. All right, maybe we are gonna have to kill that. Maybe. What do I think is better right now? BTL Scape Shift. Amulet is not very good right now. Can you imagine how bad this deck would be without Recent Reef? Uh, well, it wouldn't be a deck. That's like saying, can you imagine how bad Amulet Titan would be without Primeval Titan or without Amulet a bigger? It's just, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there, there's, there's a reason why the deck exists and it's those cards specifically, so. Um... Utopia Sprawl, right on time. We can, f we have, we're gonna have two draw steps to find Ephemerate next turn, so I think I should just do this. Um, just gonna sprawl over here, and we probably wanna name green. Green, white. It's either green or blue. I think it. I think green is more necessary than blue. Sure. I mean, as long as they don't get to play this demolish, I should be fine. Do I prefer the Planeswalker Elemental Day with Ren or the Creature Center one with Voice? I think this is probably the better one. But I have never, I have not played any any matches with this deck list. This is my first. Okay. Hmm. Name elemental here green, blue, recent reef. Wow, disaster. have to do this right now I guess I can still draw so that one goes on the stack last I can still draw an ephemery bro I guess if, if we find an ephemery we kind of just win right yeah I'm not not bad either Omnath is not bad either So we're casting Omnath next turn. Those die. Ho oh, ho ho ho! All right. Um, yeah, that's not bad. Blue, red. Gonna play Omnath. 
draw a card. Um, my opponent has a salvaging coming up, so I'm gonna wait till that resolves, I guess. And they still cannot cast the Demilich. Even if they do, we have the Fairy to balance it, so I don't care too much. Okay. Just gonna game four. And this Endurance should probably seal the deal. Yeah, I'm keeping Sprawl to pitch in Endurance. I'm probably gonna be doing that right now. No, I don't think it's better to Endurance. So that's the second spell. I think I Endurance now, right? Because if my opponent has a land, they can actually cast it. I think they're going to get greedier than that. I, I, I have a feeling that my opponent is going to get greedier than just casting a Demolich here. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna chill. I, you know what, what you just have, like, you just have the feel? Just got the feeling that my opponent is gonna get greedier than that. They're gonna try to double Demolich and then we're gonna be able to endurance them. We can't hear you. I, yeah, I, Well, damn it! <laughs> I guess I got God. Shit. Okay, so this is spell number three, right? This is spell number three. An opponent is going face. No, I still think this is correct. Like, what, are they playing, like, one Bedlam Reveler and it's not even stock? Playing around the Demiliches is a lot better than playing around the Bedlam Reveler. So I still think this is correct. So just thinking about that is just... Um, so now is when we fire off the Endurance. After they have been the Arc Lake Phoenix, after they did all that shit, now is when we fire off the Endurance. And now they got nothing. Uh, we can... Oof. Yeah, it's not bad. That is not bad at all. <laughs> Bounce that one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, no fetch lands, which is quite unfortunate, actually. Go up to 15. But I can put Kahira in my hand, or I can just ephemerate this. The thing is that I kind of don't want to ephemerate this just yet. Because there's no way my opponent can kill it. Like, sure, they, they can kill my Teferi, but, like, whatever. This doesn't matter at all. Hidden King 666, thank you for the follow. Would hold Ephemerate for now, there will be a better... Yeah, I know that we, we can get more value from the, from the Ephemerate, for sure. Getting God after flashing back Dart is soul crushing. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like we there there was the chance to get so much better value. I can't believe my opponent's gonna get to play the reveler here. They're one mana off playing the reveler. If they have a zero, they can play reveler. Which is pretty gross, honestly. Just in a single turn, just this this guy just completely made it. <laughs> that's disgusting, man. Absolutely disgusting. Alright. To be fair, we have more value than that Reveler. 
So it's not that big of a deal. It is kind of annoying, however. Okay, so what are we doing here? No, no, this guy, this card did not look insane. This card looked insane. Don't be, <laughs> don't be confused. It wasn't this the card that was insane. This is the card that was insane. Not that one. Um, well, we are not gonna prismatic end in this uh, this thing, but we can prismatic end in this thing. The thing is that we're winning we're winning this race fairly easily, so I could go. Ren Ping. Ren Ping. And now just do this. Swing for five. Okay. And now we just get to block and ephemerate the Bedlam Reveler. Unless my opponent can kill it somehow. And then we're swinging back for lethal. That's gonna die to the prismatic ending, so it's not a big deal. My opponent's draw has been outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. We're still ahead. My opponent's draw has been completely outstanding, and we're still fairly far ahead. If they, if they had stacked their deck, it would have looked very, very similar to what happened. Come to Sol does say, any color, I can think of 10 colors over my head, that's, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> can you walk in Psych Elemental Response to a Liana trigger? No, that doesn't... I mean, you can, but then you still need to resolve the Liana trigger, right? We're gonna go face, we're gonna go at the Ren. They better have a lightning bolt. They better have a lightning bolt because they're dead otherwise. Oh, they bolt the Ren. Luxac. Luxac. So now they get to cast it in Millage, I think. I'm not sure though. I've been I've, I haven't really been counting. How many more endurance do I have? I think that's the one. So I guess I can just force a chump if I don't rebound here. So we exile Demilich. And we just yeah, we just force a chump. Yeah, so we just don't say it. We just say no here. Oh. <laughs> uh 
I guess there's also that, huh? Um, green, blue, play that guy. Omnath. Prismatic and the, that thing. Chump Game Four I mean I could get greedy here. I could get greedy here. Like if I find the land off the top we can win. I get two looks at a land. Oh, but I play my land, so it would need to be the card that we find off the recent reef. Alternatively, I can just chill, and then my opponent, sure, they have all of this stuff, but they like all of this stuff just doesn't do anything because I'm at a bunch of life. I think I just pass. Just gonna pass here. Yeah, it's not worth cycling Omnath. I can just gain four. If my opponent luck sucks here, it's pretty good. That is pretty good. Yeah, it seems hard to imagine for me. Even even though they drew probably the, the best possible card they could have drawn, it still seems very hard for them to be able to assemble lethal. Or even to assemble a way to survive. Like, they're gonna need to leave some of these phoenixes back to block. TBR? <laughs> Do you think you could fit Loam in your Nihilist? I am not interested in fitting Loam in my Nihilist. Uh, we just... Take this. Got me. <laughs> Free damage. My opponent has been drawing insanely well. Like, outstandingly well. Uh, what do we need? Kind of we need more blue mana. Let's do this. That's good. I don't think I'm supposed to leave the fetch there, no, because... Um, Because I don't know if I'm going to need to chump attack, right? Because I need to trade, potentially. We are not drawing well here. We are not drawing well. They have one card in hand. So it shouldn't be easy for them to get back both Phoenixes. It should not be easy for them to get back both Phoenixes. We have double blue, we have white. Let's make another blue here. We got a bunch of blockers. They need to they need to find perfects probably here. They need to find perfects here. But we could die. 
Like if they draw like Metamorphose into Metamorphose into like Bolt, we do, we lose. Opponent's draw has been incredible. Cast a speaky thing about the follow. Okay. I think we start here. Because if I find the line, it's just so much better for me. Prismatic ending's good. Ephemerate. Um. Hmm. Blinking Solitude gives them life, right? So it's not lethal. Also, it wouldn't be lethal because then I can't attack with the Solitude itself, right? So this still... This still warrants us thinking about it for a second. Um, the problem if we play the Fury, and again, this is why I'm taking a second, is that we only draw a single card and then if we don't find a land, if my opponent has a way to get, like if they draw a bolt, we just lose, right? While if I'm holding Ephemerate, I can actually stop the arc like Phoenix. So I actually think that the correct play is to do this. I imagine opponent's gonna take this trade. Which seems like a fine trade to me, and then we can they don't take the trade. Well that's excellent for us. So now this is just easy mode. Now we just blink the solitude, exile the phoenix, gain some more life, thank you very much, and now we can't we can't lose. Sweet. Awesome. Opponent's draw was absolutely incredible. Didn't matter. Was anyone attacked for um, Omnath? Was someone in sick? So, no. Attack was not free. It was just not impossible. <laughs> um. The fairy is really interesting, right? Because it really messes up with their rebound spell. But that's kind of about it. And the card is not really that great. Love Fury as a card name. Yeah, I'm I'm also I'm pretty happy that they have it they hadn't used the name Fury before this. Like this is a pretty good. This is a pretty good card for, you know, being named Fury. I think I'm just gonna take the Teferis. Also, we're on the draw. There's the possibility that they have Blood Moon, so that may be a reason to want, to want some number of Foundation Breakers. That we can tutor for with Harbinger. No, this card's just bad. Like you stop the Reveler for one turn, then they play it the following turn. Just just not a good card. This is good against Primeval Titan and literally nothing else. That's it. That's the only thing that it's good against. Putting Emily on the bottom, putting No no no. Your opponent chooses. 
because your opponent chooses. You're not the one who chooses where it goes. That's why this card is unplayable. It's because you're not the one who chooses where it goes. Your opponent does. So if they think it's good to leave the um, to leave the card on top, they will just leave it. And if they don't, then they, it, it just goes to the bottom. So you never get what you want out of this card. It's really bad. And it's funnily enough, this was like the one that most people were the most hyped about. It's actually the worst in the cycle by a significant margin. Um, not too high on rands. Probably fine to cut a couple. It's like another guy's system play. Yeah, but either Gust answers the board, which this is not. And Edergast is a one for one, with this is not. This is a two for one. This is actual card disadvantage. There's no way to justify the card. It's it's a bad card. It's an objectively bad card. I don't think there are any good ways of justifying it. Maybe they're gonna Rata like they did with stuff on MTGA. Uh, I doubt it. That's a heinous draw. Absolutely heinous draw. Unless my opponent is indeed on the Blood Moon plan. Hmm. On the Fury thing though? I actually got this the other day. One sec. Let me see if I can find them. Yeah. There we go. This looks sick. Uh, my opponent did some stuff and they play another DRC. Sure. Look at this. This is a really, really cool art for a card named Fury. It does, the anger does translate. The Fury does translate. Point is not playing around, what's his name at all, huh? Endurance, what is that card? I'm not playing around shit. Yeah, yeah, this is non-foil. I actually hate foils, but this one looks really, really nice. The only thing that makes me a little bit sad is that I don't, I don't really like one in just Bolt's face. Oof, this is, this is not gonna work out well for them. This is not gonna work out well for them. Attack me, please. Uh. Uh, what's up? <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> no! No! Why unholy heat? No! Well, the good thing is that now these are just going to be one ones. So we're going to be able to kill them fairly easily. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess we're doing that. Get my Gahira, thank you very much. Uh, Blood Moon. And like I brought, maybe I, I should have brought only one. I thought that bringing two was fine, but uh, we're oh, obviously we're getting owned. We're obviously getting known because, you know, my my draw is kind of trashy. This is blue. So this is going to fetch a basic planes and then we should be blood moon proof. Although we already have foundation breaker, so it's kind of weird in that sense. Oh, look at that. I 
Maybe I should have attacked first. I guess it's kind of whatever. Land? No land. Never lucky. Recent race this foundation breaker will cycle for two. Yeah, and it's a maze, so I don't need to blow up my own. Um, I don't need to blow up my own Utopia Sprawl. What's this? That's a tough, it's a tough way to do it. <laughs> that's a, that's a, that's a tough way to do it. Um, so I guess I could name Red here, or I guess I could do the opposite. No, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just gonna do it like this, because otherwise it would fall. So we're gonna say Red. Play Omneth again. Still trying to find a land. Land? Nope. So I may die here if my opponent has double Lightning Bolt. I don't really have many options though. If they have double Bolt or Bolt plus Lava Spike, we're dead. Like I really need to find a land there. We got pretty unlucky. Pretty cool how many games get here is super relevant. Yeah, Kahira is not embarrassing. Kahira is definitely a lot better than it looks. Can we please find land? Please! Oh, I guess we don't have to. <laughs> Alright, my opponent's draw game one a lot better than their draw game two. Still got a still ended on top. Opponent has disconnected. They did not appreciate the Omnath life that we're living over here. See you for the next round. Alrighty. Round number two. Numero dos playing against another opposing <gasps> The Mirror. Keep. This hand fucks. So green, going to name red probably. So like Batuccinia on his lives, asking for a top deck. <laughs> nice. Batuccinia. It's actually a sick name. So, huh? Um, I think I'm just gonna, yeah. Let's just let's just get the engine rolling, because my opponent is not playing the the Ren version, right? So we can we can take advantage of that fact. They're just playing this other weird version with Skelemental and stuff. Skelemental is so bad, man. Boys. Skelementals are free. You hooked me, Stabs. God damn you, you hooked me. Oh man. I needed that recent reef. I needed that recent reef. So this is not really a big deal, right? So we're gonna fetch for a temple garden. Fetch for a temple garden. Float mana. We're gonna put this over here. And we're gonna name blue. Actually, we're gonna name white. Yeah. Then 
green, ren, ping, white, red, prismatic ending, that thing. And now my opponent can just, I guess they can just go face, but like, what are they really doing? And I have a ren? Like, sure, they, they are effectively trading this for my solitude. Two, three, four, five. Because the land obviously doesn't matter because we just get it back with the Ren. Flamekin. Play that tapped. That we're just gonna go get recent reef. I guess we can just go get Omnath instead, right? Omnath is just better because we have a Ren going. And now they have three cards in hand and only three mana. <clears throat> we're pretty ahead on board. This green, blue, red. Play Omnath. Play land. Attack for one. This one's probably in the bag now. We're completely out of reach. <clears throat> they have their own solitude. Okay. Could get Triumph, but I don't think I want to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we should be able to play Kahira and Hardcast Solitude. We find Recent Reef. <laughs> uh, some good shit. That's this that's that's some good shit. That's some good shit. Um <laughs> Yep. That one's all right. Um, play that. And I think I'd rather just hard cast the Solitude now. And I'm gonna do this before, I guess they can't even cast Ephemerate. Jeez, their mana base is garbage. Unless they're just not playing, unless they're just not playing, um, they could just not be playing Ephemerate at all, I guess. I want to play this kind of magic, it's so easy. It, it's very easy, yeah. Bro, an interesting list that's a habit between opponent's list and yours, actually pretty fire depending on the meta. That's nice steps. It just feels like you can take the, you can take this shell so many different ways, like you can approach it so many different ways, it's pretty sweet. Okay, so, <laughs> the mirror, like what the hell are we supposed to do in the mirror? I kind of like Endurance because my opponent's playing that version that's kind of weird. Yeah, there's no more Drifters in this list. I just copied and pasted it from, I don't know, somewhere. How much does MTG Premium cost these days? Um, I get a good deal. I get pat on the head for the special kid. You are special, Stabs. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. 
You are special to me. I think this is what I want to do. Yeah, none of these other cards really matter. Streamer this confirmed you is still a pretty penny. It's 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 been okay. It's been worth it. It's been worth it. Let's let's put it like that. Uh yes. I think I keep this. We have a couple of ways that we can go about this. We can go. Oh wow, they're playing vile. Yuck. I don't think I like that. I think ephemerate is just so much better than this. Mm. So there's a couple of different ways that we can go about this. I can go, I think I want to go turn one stomping ground. And we're going to get a um, recent reef here. And then turn two, we can play tap temple garden and utopia sprawl on the stomping ground, I mean blue. Then we can take it from there. Unsettled Mariner. Huh. That's potentially a problem. So if they have Skelemental here, which looks like they do. I'm being endurance. And Fury. Maybe you should have attacked for one there. It sucks that I may have to pitch this ephemerate to the solitude and they pay if they have another skeletal. Yeah, Reef is pretty good for them. Yeah, Mariner lines up very well against us, for sure. That is fine. Down to zero cards. I like this. I like this. Okay, so we're going to find Triumph here. We're going to see what we draw. Planes. So now we just hard cast Solitude. Get rid of the recent reef. Another land would be great, sweet. Awesome. Now we just chill.
And next turn we should win the game, I assume. So the other line would be to put Kahira in hand and to pitch to Solitude, exile, and then ephemerate our own Solitude and then exile something else. Actually, maybe that may that might have been a better line. That would have drawn me two cards. Yeah, that that that, that was probably the better line actually. Now that I think about it. One, two, three, one, two, three. We get to attack with Solitude. Like this. Like that. Attack with Solitude, sure. Serve with the Flame King as well. So now I'm at eight. Which you could build his deck, but it's like 2k RRL. It's, yeah, it's pretty damn expensive. <laughs> it's really, really expensive. It's pretty neat that even if my opponent has the true drop that gets back the Skelemental, I can get rid of that because I can just um, ephemerate my own Flame King, put an Endurance on top, draw it off the recent Reef, then. Um, then endurance this uh, the skeletal away by pitching the other endurance and we also draw a card with a recent reef which is cool It's real fucking good. Um, we're not dead though, right? We block. I guess we can block here. Take seven, eight, nine, ten. Trigger on the stack, we blink Flamekin. Get back Solitude. But we leave this Solitude on top. Hm. I think that the correct line is to... Block here and here. Damage happens. Skelemental trigger on the stack. We blink Flamekin. We leave Solitude on top. No, no, we put Fury on top. Yeah, we put Fury on top. So we have to stack the triggers the other way, actually. So we draw the card first. Whatever we draw... Ugh, it sucks that we drew that one. That was pretty good. Um, and now we put Fury on top. Skelemental Trigger resolves. Bye-bye, good cards. Now... Uh, we already know that we're drawing Fury, so I guess I'm just going to blink the recent Reef. Draw Fury. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So red, one, red, green. Fury cast. Deal two here, two here. Draw another card. Green, red, ren. Play another land. Swing for one. Yeah, and now a second skeletal doesn't do anything because I have a fury in play. 
a heck of a card. <laughs> that one is a heck of a card, goddammit. Mariner Resolves. <sighs> Never hit up any wild house or techno clubs that you lived in Boston? Uh, no, I, I don't like that style of music, Flash Panda. Play that name, kind of whatever. I'm gonna name black because if we find prismatic ending, we can like prismatic ending and opposing fury or something like that. I don't know. Similar dead still. It's not dead. It's just poorly positioned. Uh. So now they can potentially get their engine rolling again. We really need to draw something good here. Fury, yep. It's pretty good. So that's gonna kill my Fury and their recent reef. Hey! So I can draw Omnath now? So I think it's better to just blink my own fury, right? If I blink my own fury... It counts as four triggers? Why though? Yeah, no, the thing is that if I if I get a Fury, what I can do is I can kill both of their dudes, right? So I my opponent uses Fury to kill this and this, and I blink this in response. I draw another card, and I kill their Fury and their Flamekin. And I have a blocker. Or I can go with the Coward play, and the Coward play, of course, being just going to get an Omnath. I think I'm gonna go with an Omnath. Opponent has seen enough. Yeah, that would have been enough. <laughs> I guess that would have been enough. All right, see you next round. All right, no land there, we're gonna ship it. That's just wrong though, right? I guess I keep this. Not excited about it, but
in the part with the prime sub. Thank you so much. Got accepted into music school for drums. Oh, you're kidding me. That is so awesome. Congratulations. That is sick. So happy to hear that. Uh, we're just gonna get belched. Seems like we're about to get belched. I'm kind of feeling about to get belched. Fury versus Mariner, as I see the Fury deals 4 damage to one target, he gets one trigger, Fury deals damage. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking, Shorak. Yeah, my friend is definitely playing better, sure. I think I'm just about gonna balance the treasure. They're gonna sack it in response, whatever. Maybe I should actually save that. Cause now if they play a Veltra, I can't do anything about it. Cause I'm not playing a main deck, what's his name? Can't pitch Fury here. It's not looking good. Not looking good. Not looking good for the home team. Yep. 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 To find a cursed idol. Okay, so those seem fine, that seems fine. These, no bueno. Um, endurance is probably fine. If they ever cross the paths. And all of these cards just suck. Bolt is also bad. Oh, uh, that's Belcher. <laughs> An oldie but a goodie. It's not a goodie. Prismatic ending's kind of sus. We go with this. Where I got this list, uh, it for one the prelim that I played yesterday. His hand is pretty garbage. <laughs> I I knew that this, it was only a matter of time before this happened. It was only a matter of time before this happened. 
I think I'm probably gonna keep this hand anyway, but holy shit, is it is this bad? I think mean, that just that's just some wishful thinking, and you're just trying to justify playing a card. Then it's just you know, you need like multiple pieces to come together. That just that's just not gonna happen. That's just not gonna happen. So I think I'm gonna bottom this second the ferry, and I guess I'm gonna save this in case I need to pitch it to endurance in case of re recross the paths. Haven't been a huge fan of Sprawl. It's awkward, right? It's really awkward in a in a four color deck that wants to be playing Cavern of Souls. It makes sense, I think, but it's not great. Our best draw would be any fetch land, I guess. Seems really, really hard for us to beat this matchup. Fetch land. Probably gonna save the Utavir's Fall to pitch the force. If I can. If I can. It's not looking good for the home team though. Not looking good at all. No way to beat opponents for them to beat themselves. I mean, we can, we have ways to win. Like, Omnath is a hell of a drug, right? But it wouldn't surprise me that my for my opponent to have Blood Moon in their deck, for example, and we obviously cannot beat that in a million years. Also, my opponent is playing very, very slowly. There we go. Land. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So at this point, we probably can't win anymore. We're just too far behind. And that's the thing that I was thinking about this deck. It's just like 22 land just seems like so little. We need to be playing more lands. When I was playing 24, 23 lands, it also seemed like very little. And I always saw myself closer to the 25th one than the other way around. So... I don't know. Kind of went up to 24, which makes it a lot of sense. What would I cut for more lands? For more lands? I don't know. I uh, I don't know what I would cut, but... I think that they are necessary, you know? And this is something that I feel with kind of every version of these decks that i played so far. Uh, basic forest. I can't play sprawl yet. Fetch another basic forest. We're going to play another recent reef. It does feel like players have learned how to play against the elementals deck, though. 
we see my opponent. Oh, now we find her. nothing but, but lands. Sheesh. We see my opponent just really prioritizing spike field hazard on my dude. You know, that kind of stuff. Chris expected that he almost never floats out and frequently loses to only drawing two lands, so have lots to do with a lot of mana. Yeah, exactly. That's why we went, when we were playing this deck before, we went up on lands because of that specific reason. Blood Moon. So I'm probably gonna. F we play this sprawl on white or green. That's the fourth spike field hazard. Fuck. That sucks. Um. I think I'm gonna do it on white. So let's do this here. Name white. One, two, three, four. Foundation breaker. Load that up. White, blue, one, the fairy, plus. So this elemental deck and the reading the current meta, I think it's very, very good. Also that Blood Moon was fixing their mana for the, the Sev Day. Well, never mind, for that. Um the four drop sorcery. It, it doesn't matter, like we were just dead anyway. Very poor sequencing for my opponent. If I had had Force of Vigor plus a green card, we completely blow them out there. Pretty bad sequencing for my for my opponent, but they 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 don't get punished. Feels bad. All right, see you for the next one. Alrighty, let's see what we got here. Playing against Batuchinia, he doesn't reveal anything. I think I'm keeping this hand. No reveal. They like to play good players in a league or they prefer to avoid them? I mean, I'd rather play against good players. I think it makes for better content. His list from Sunday. Uh, I don't know. Did he do well with any list? Ignoble. So just. Temple Guard and kill this. You will to decide the challenge with it. Okay. Don't know what he's playing still. Could be a variety of different decks. Just Jund? He's just playing good old just Boomer Jund? Skelemental. Alright. I mean, he kind of has to kill the Ren, otherwise, like, yeah, this just doesn't do shit. That's just a removal spell for Ren. That's what that was. Say Elemental.
Gen Company. Is that really as bad as it sounds? Oh, they hit a grist? That's pretty sick. Um, okay, so what are we doing here? We can Fury Peach Fury. One, two, three. And then we bolt the grist. Time to play. I mean, do I bold the grist or do I just? Yeah, I guess I bold the grist. And then let's go to planes here. We've got here in hand. Same for one. So he's going to be able to get back Croxa this coming turn, but if they do that, then I have Omnath and I can draw two. Monkey? Sacred Foundry down. up flamekin oh sweet i was gonna say flamekin should do it but you know i can i can also just draw the solitude it's also acceptable also acceptable i have no more white sources sucks they exiled my sacred foundry and it ended up mattering immediately oh <laughs> uh, that's very funny that is very very funny uh i mean Sucks, but whatever. Um, so I guess I'm just gonna go get another Frison Reef, and then I'm just gonna pitch Kahira to the Solitude. So get second Recent Reef, reveal Recent Reef, play Recent Reef. There we go. Play that. Solitude, Peach, Kahira, I guess. Draw Topis Pro, draw Flamekin. Can be my white source. I think this is looking good. <laughs> How do you feel about it, chat? Do you think that this is looking good? Yeah, I thought it was looking good too. 
Okay. Um, endurance looks fine. They got Monkey, they got Croxa. This is potentially interesting. I think I like Prismatic Ending better than Explosives, though. Not too high on Teferi. This looks fine. The monkey immediately exiling the, the, the relevant land was just what's what's kind of priceless. Not gonna lie, it was pretty amusing. It was much much better because it you know we won anyway, but it was really funny. Well, this this hand is fucked up. This hand is hella fucked up. So I guess I'm getting Temple Garden and playing Sprawl on Red on turn one. Unless my opponent plays a monkey, if they play a monkey, I think I'm gonna go Flamekin so I can trade. Or at least attempt to trade. It's not a monkey. So, Temple Garden, yes. Sprawl on Red. So I can kind of we can cast Red at six. Copperline Gorge, dude. They actually can cast it. That's that's hilarious. Wow. Fuck you, monkey. For real, man. I hate a monkey so much. It's insane. Land. Sweet. Not bad. I haven't seen that one in a long time. I hadn't seen that one in a really long time. Uh, red, white, yeah. So get a basic forest. Protect our life total. White, red, blue. Here, Somnath. It's not bad. So land, fetch, stompy ground, monkey down, and I think I'm drawing Kahira here. Yeah, their deck's kind of cool. I'm assuming they're not going to attack with the Engineer. Unearth Monkey, just so they can kill the... <laughs> Unearth Monkey, so they can minus and they can kill the Omneth. I mean, it's a way to do it. I could have endurance. I don't think that would have been a good idea, though. So, red, white, green. We ending that.
place around future and earths too, which is nice. Flamekin. Can probably get Fury here. Getting recent reef is kind of nice. Actually, let's get recent reef. Getting Fury is interesting, but then we need to pitch her Omnath. Like, sure, we have Ephemerate, but... Recent Reef is just going to give me so much more value. Seasoned P -p -p Pyromancer. Beaning Croxa. Gross. Not bad. Um, endurance cast with evoke. Make him shuffle. Draw a fury like a champion. All right. So now that can go. Yuri Pichy Nomnath. One, two, three, four. Okay. That to play. Resolve that. Femorate Fury. <laughs> Is this good? I don't know, was, was, was that good? some some pretty impressive stuff today um yeah snapping this off so gonna go basic forest into sprawl i think we want to make let's make white mana Actually, let's make blue because we can we can make uh, white off of this planes. In case my opponent is playing Blood Moon. Elemental. Maybe I should have suited up with Utopia Sprawl there. Data Trial. Second Marsh Flats. Which deck plays Marsh Flats? So my opponent playing like Stoneblade or some shit like that? Basic Swamp. They have to push this research. Like whatever they do, yeah, they have to kill this. Otherwise the game just ends, so. <laughs> Hehehehe. <laughs> um, my opponent could be playing Vindicate. I'm assuming that they are playing. Um, I assume I'm assuming that my opponent is playing some sort of like black white stone blade grief nonsense deck. So 
So put this over here. Green, blue, this is gonna be red. I think I wanna go with another recent relief before I play the Omnath. We're kind of flooding. But playing recent reef here makes it awkward uh, for my opponent's inquisitions. Yeah, we lost against Belcher. Opponent just two for ones themselves to deal to deal with my two for one. Pitching the card that they could have actually taken my Omnath with. More cards. More cards. Um just gonna play this and say go. There's just no need to play into my opponent's removal to do any any sort of unnecessary nonsense. There's no need to. We can do everything next turn if we if we wanted to. Tide Hollow Scholar. This is someone. So they have another scholar. Do I want to ephemerate the Somnath? I guess I do because it's a draw to. So now I'm gonna get they're gonna get rid of the flame king probably. Since so really they have a removal. I mean, which removal could they have? Like another solitude that they need to do for one themselves for? Like that's a fine exchange for me. And they, by the form that they've been playing, they don't have it. Like the, this was their top deck. Otherwise, they would have they would have used this instead of you know just cycling Sabai Trium. So based on how they play. And here I could attack, but I think that the extra card is going to be worth more than the attack. Find Kaldra. Makes sense. Uh, I'm not going to fetch, I don't think. Well, that's just delightful. Yep, this game is officially over. Uh, I have to be kind of careful though, because my opponent could have damn. So I have to be kind of careful. Not too careful, but... Kind of. I'm gonna go with another recent reef here. Very time Raveler. Another Omnath. Fetch, find Breeding Pool. Take four. There's an argument there for bouncing my own Flame King instead of bouncing my opponent's Stoneforge, I guess. Uh, 
Should have abandoned your ideal list of mine. Fits a curious imitation, it doesn't have any creatures. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I mean, it could be worth it. Could be worth it. Um, yeah, you could also be like bluffing. What does the ice tag mean? Great question. So, damn or bust is the current state of affairs. Vindicate my dude. I think I will let this go, and then I can endurance myself and shuffle both of the recent reefs back into my deck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight mana. Now we have more mana. But I guess I want to do that thing where I shuffle my own deck, so... One, two, three. Myself, prismatic ending, sure. Play this, fetch for this, cast this. Pony has seen enough. It is now that they have seen enough. So explosive seems good, they show me scholar, and that lines up very well with um that lines up very well with my um with their Stoneforge Mystic. I knew where they may have the city's blessing. No, I'm fine. Guess this if that is Can we have a donor goal for a switch so you can play Pokemon with Chief? I don't have switch. So that would be fun though. I started playing Final Fantasy IX yesterday. Or the day before. I think it was during the weekend. So I think it was Sunday. So two, two days ago. Dude, that deck is great. I, I, that, that deck, that game is great. I never actually played it before. I had it, but for whatever reason, I had it in Japanese. So I had no idea uh, what that like what the story was or anything. I just like played and guessed stuff. Um, and this time around, like actually reading the story has been awesome. I'm like two hours into it, but it's, it's been a lot of fun. I should be not able to read Japanese. I know, I'm such a noob, chief. Uh, okay, we're separating against Stoneforge nonsense. Final Fantasy Nice Soul Gate, this incredible love letter to old, older JRPGs from the early 90s. Yeah, my favorite game of all time, bar none, better than Magic, better than everything else, is Final Fantasy VIII. I, I think I played, I, I guess bar in Magic, maybe Magic is, I, I spend more time playing Magic, but uh, Final Fantasy VIII, I've spent maybe upwards of 2,000 hours playing, because I replayed it like maybe 15 or 20 times at this point. It's definitely the game that I've replayed the most. Like eight, Final Fantasy VIII really, really did it for me. And the first time around that I played, I think I'm just gonna cut the sprawls, fuck it. Uh, because they have Vindicates. Um, the first time around that I played, you know, like I was, I was young, I didn't get a bunch of the story and like stuff like that. Then I played again, and I, you know, I kind of got a little bit better, and I understood a little bit better, like, the third time around, you know, like, every time I just, I just kept getting better and better, and, like, I understood more and stuff like that, and then, like, I played nowadays, and it's just, it's just an absolute masterpiece. Absolute masterpiece. 
Final Fantasy VIII, the, the story, the character development, you know, how like how Squall is like this emo guy in the beginning, like, oh, nothing, nothing matters, blah, 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 boo-hoo. And then how he, you know, kind of grows and starts to, starts to understand better. And it's, it's just, it's just an absolute masterpiece. Also the whole draw system, the GF system, everything is just magnificent. Just perfect. Absolutely perfect. The perfect game. Just gonna get another recent reef here. Uh, play uh, <laughs> elemental. Boom. Personally, thought Final Fantasy VIII should have had microtransactions would have been better. Um, I mean, games back then did not have microtransactions, right? Score remains a little bit though. I I don't think so. No. Like he he is kind of annoying at the beginning. Like you you just get to to a point where you just like to like just get a life, you know, and then. But I think that like he grows up, you know. He he betters himself. Dude, fuck my fuck microtransactions. It's just impossible to play a game today. Like you just didn't load the game, and then you you can't even play the game after you downloaded it because. You have all of these microtransactions to deal with. Land. Fetch land, preferably. Is my opponent going to solitude with on this with this on the stack? I was hooking if someone if it for the first time it was so much to do like yeah, it's so sick. Pitching fracture. I think this is fine. I mean, opponent's got nothing. All right, I'm gonna bite. I'm gonna bite. I'm going to pitch the Omnath to the Solitude to get rid of the Stoneforge and draw a card out of the deal. Because I, I think that I may have to do that anyway. So I might as well draw a card. Still cannot cast the Renin 6, dude. <laughs> this is brutal. So now that dies, and now we draw another card. Still cannot cast the red and six. <laughs> Still can't cast the red. <laughs> it's a shame that FF9's card game is so booty compared. Oh, Triple Triad is awesome. Like the fact that even even the card game is amazing. So sick, man. This is why Ren is medium. I mean, you could just change the mana, right? I These could just be green sources. Here's another Racing Reef. All you need to do is you need to just rebuild the mana differently and you're good to go. I don't think Ren is necessarily medium. I just think that this mana base does not suit, you know, the requirements for playing Ren necessarily well. Imagine my opponent's gonna push this. Oh no, I'm an idiot. That, that needed to go to my hand. Oh, uh, that was a mistake. A uh, big mistake. Oh, big mistake, big mistake. Cavern is probably better than Ren. I don't necessarily agree with that. I don't think I agree with that. I think Ren is pretty messed up. And I don't think Cavern is particularly well positioned in the metagame right now. One, two, three, one, two, one, two. Forest. <laughs> Get 
get in there, Flame King Harbinger. It's your time to shine. Yeah! Take two, opponent! That's how Flame King Harbinger uh, uh, talks. That's how they talk. Take two, opponent! Yeah! Oh no, Void Walker! Damn it. The print counter play, how can Cavern be bad? Who knows, Kampachi? Who knows? Sounds like Mickey Mouse. I know, right? I, I was I was doing it, and I'm like, that actually sounds very similar to Mickey Mouse. That was a good that was a good top deck, yeah. I like that top deck. It's a fine top deck. So they have Kaldra plus another card. Dude, these decks are just so bad. <laughs> these decks are just so bad. Um, if I minus, my opponent can kill this with Dotti. But if they don't, then I have... Like, they kill Kahira. Two. I'm just gonna plus. I guess I'm playing this out. Point us out there, you know, walking in the void. These decks are just bad. Just bad decks. They brought in Fracture to deal with my Planeswalkers. That was their plan, I guess. Should hold land for Lethal Omnath. Uh, if I draw Omnath, I cannot envision a situation where I don't win, so... I don't think there's too much of a point. Like sure, you, you you may be right. You may be right, but like if I draw Omnath, I don't know how I don't win, right? I was saying I'm playing around Colonel's Command, but like that's just not true. Because they, they don't have Colonel's Command. Um so it's a good draw. It's a good draw. Um skill this, they game four, take three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sounds like math. They can only cast explosives off of this, like there's nothing else, so. Look at the card. Four and one. This deck's good. This deck is good. This deck is very, very, very good. Cut it right on time. Um, this deck is extremely, extremely good, and I think that people may need to start playing Torpor Orbs in their sideboards. I think that people are still not respecting this deck. And if you don't have a Torpor Orb, I don't think you can fight fair with this deck. I don't think you can fight fair and you can expect to win. You need something like Torpor Orb or you need to not care. But trying to kill this deck through combat, it's very, 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 very difficult. We didn't drop a single game against fair matchups. Against anybody who tried to attack us in order to kill us, we did not drop a single game. And our only loss was to the deck that did not care whatsoever about, about the battlefield, right? Uh, the loss was to Belcher. The loss was to Belcher. 
So if you're trying to beat this deck playing fair, you can't. You can't or you need to get extremely, extremely lucky. Uh, but... It's not it's it's not the way to approach this. Like I think that you need to be able to use uh, like Torpor Orb, you know, like to cut Leon or Guard, and any of those, you know, like ways to stop ETV triggers. But if you can't, this deck is going to outgrind you and it's going to do that very, very easily. Um on to the things that I did not particularly love, I think that playing four sprawls may be too many. I could see cutting one of them. I do like that they pitch to your endurance and they pitch to your forces in post cyber games. Like that, that's kind of neat. Um, but I think that it was a little bit awkward. So I think I would cut maybe one for another land, and that land can be either a fetch land or maybe another forest. Because I do want to make sure that I can cast Ren and Six. Like, Ren was actually pretty legit in this deck. It wasn't, like, insane, like, absolutely busted, like it is in the lands deck, but it was very, very good in this deck, like, just making sure that you always hit your land drops. So I think at least I want to go up a land, and I think that the card that I would cut to, to go up a land would be would be the, the fourth Utopia Sprawl. Um, I did not like the Triome. Uh, what else? Do you not necessarily like the basic mountain? I could see playing a basic uh, basic island instead. I mean, you probably just have to play the, the mountain though, right? Like you have so many red sources. This could also just be another stomping ground or something like that. Did I like the fairy? Uh, yeah, I, I do think that just the fairy... So the thing with the fairy is that... Uh, I mean, we just played against... Whenever you play against what I was just saying, like the decks that don't care about the battlefield, then Teferi is awesome. So Teferi is just like a very, very fine way to have like a, a, a card that kind of synergizes. And even if you're playing against something like uh, more of a control deck or whatever, where they're not playing to the battlefield, like Teferi is just awesome. It stops the cascade against Living End. Um, so like Teferi kind of feels like a main deck a sideboard card the same way that in the Naya Lands I'm playing Chalices in the main deck Teferi feels kind of in a similar place with the only difference that when it's not good you can Teferi minus your own dudes and you can uh, you can accrue even more value that way so uh, it actually has um, has a, a little bit of synergy you know if, even if you're not bouncing your opponent's stuff you can just bounce your own and it's going to be great anyways so and that kind of feels uh, that feels a lot lot better. Drum has to be Ketria. Green is more important than white in the beginning of the game. Um, yeah, I could see that. I could see that. So you can play one Ketria Trium, cut one of these, and maybe play another Temple Garden. It's probably either another Temple Garden or another Fetch. I could see another Fetch, actually. There's 12 Fetches as is, though, so... Yeah, maybe just a Temple Garden. And that means that we have the same amount of white sources, but we just have one more green source, which is awesome. Actually, we have two more green source, which is great. Um... Yeah, love that, love that. Nice, nice, easy change. Uh, I could see cutting another ending, maybe, for the fourth sprawl, if you really wanted to do that. But ending was kind of good. I just think this card is very good right now. And, you know, having answers to monkey turn one is always kind of... I mean, we're playing modern after all, right? So that's kind of an, an important thing to be doing. And you don't want to... You don't want to two-for-one yourself to Fury or to Solitude in order to stop a monkey in the early game. Um, so that's definitely where my mind would go. I feel I kind of miss the forces. Yes, I do agree that, you know, we're super short on blue cards, so maybe it's not even worth it. Yeah, maybe we're just too short on blue cards. We just cannot afford to play force with this list. Because the other list that I was playing also played Unsettled Mariner. Yeah, maybe this is just better. Yeah, maybe this list just cannot afford to play forces. 
Yeah, this is also great against Torpor, exactly. Like, the kind of cards that your opponent wants to be bringing in against you, like, this actually answers them very cleanly. Hmm. Can reason to cast it with mana. Yeah, but if I if I wanted to cast it with mana, then I would play a different counter spell, right? I would not play a three mana negate. I would play a two mana negate if I if my plan was to hard cast the card. You played against Void Mirror at all? I can't imagine that's very good against Elementals, but it does counter the evoke and rebound ephemerate. Uh yeah, that seems like not good enough. That seems like it's it it's not good enough. Basically, if, if you do not kill the recent reef, this game, this deck will like will like outgrind you. Like it just will. I guarantee that it will. It will like I would grind you if you don't kill the recent reef. So, whatever you want, you need a way to stop the recent reef. Just kill it or uh, something like a torpor, you know, in order to stop the value that it generates. Is the ball versus four prismatic end because of Ren Ult? I imagine it has to do with something like that. Yes, like the fact that this can go face. You also just go off versus combo, build the board, and draw into blue cards alongside force with recent reef. I don't think conventional force numbers are necessary with this deck. Um, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that because precisely the combo decks are going to do that before you get a time before you get the time to set up. So yeah, I I don't think I agree with, I agree with that. Again, like I I do like forces. I feel like that is that is this deck's uh, hope, right? Like th this deck feels. Like it, it's not well suited. It's it just doesn't have the right, the right answers against the combo decks. That's just how I feel about it. Like it just feel it just felt like they cannot, like you cannot really interact in a profitable way against the against the combo decks. So that's what I was thinking about, kind of helping in the sideboard. To be fair, combo barely even exists. Like we got paired against Belcher, but I feel like we got extremely unlucky. There, like in there's thirteen hundred players in the modern queues, and I just got paired against like one of five people playing Belcher or something like that. Like I, I don't expect Belcher to be a real contender in the meta game. Um, I don't think it's necessarily a real deck, uh, but you know we did get paired against it, and we we were completely helpless. So, although I guess that we could have won if if we had drawn a force of bigger for what's worth. So. That's actually one thing that I was thinking. Maybe another copy of Force of Vigor could be better than the Explosives. Uh, I think that Force of Vigor is just very, very good right now. It's better against Hammer. You don't really care about the two for one in this deck specifically. Kraser said that's why he had Ball, but he no longer feels like it's necessary. Also, last I saw, he had cut down to one Ren. He had cut down to one Ren. Ren felt fine. Like, it wasn't insane, but... I guess if you do go indeed up to 24 or 25 lands, then the Ren becomes less necessary. Uh, but Ren looked fairly good. Um, oh yeah. Deck's good. Deck's good. You should respect it. People should respect it. But apparently they don't. All right, that's going to be it for this league. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy the content. This deck is a lot of fun, so I will definitely be playing it soon uh, again. But uh, that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.